Are you facing a tough decision right now? If yes, please listen because this will guide you. All decision making boils down to value clarification. Meaning to say, if you're having a hard time making a decision that means you're not yet very clear about your values, what's the most important thing in your life? I remember I, I was attending this seminar and the speaker in front gave this incredible exercise. He said, I want you to get five pieces of paper and write down the five top most important things in your life. And so, you know, we got these pieces of paper and we, five of them and we started writing uh, our top five. And then he said, okay, are you ready? How many pieces of paper do you have? He said, five, okay. Okay, he says, I'm gonna go around the room and, I, and if, you're, if you're supposed to give up, you, you have to give up one of the five, what it would be. And so a lot of us, we, we said, okay, you know, we, and it was a little bit easy to do that. You know, out of the five, we said, okay, we, we choose this number five and we gave it up. And then he said, how many are left? Four. And he said, okay, if you're supposed to give up one more of the four, what would it be? It was more difficult this time. Oh gosh, wow, we're supposed to give up one more. And so we gave it up. And so, and he said, how many pieces of paper do you have? I said, three. Okay, these are the top three things in your life. Yes, you know. Okay, what if you're supposed to give up one more? That was very, very difficult. We said, stop it, stop that. Let's quit this exercise. Let's move on to another one. You know, and, and, and the, almost everybody in the room was just, we were just a few people. You know, we were saying, no, no, but, but he was going around and was collecting that piece of paper. We had two left in our hands. And he said, stop that. And he said, no, no, what if you're supposed to give up one more? And wow, that was painful. That was emotional for us. And and some some of some some of the participants they were holding those two pieces of paper and said, no, no more. I, I can't give up. I can't. I can't. I can't give up. But but he just went around, and and he said, come on, give what if you're supposed to give up one of those two? What would it be? And so we handed him, and so we just one piece of paper in our hand. And then he said, that, my dear friend, is your number one. That is the highest value of your life. And it, it, was, it was a painful emotional exercise, but it was beautiful because it clarified what was most important in our lives. And so when you make decisions, sometimes, you know, you, you need to just say, okay, what is most important to my life? And, and um, you know, w one of the easiest things we gave up, like the first time he said, okay, out of the five, give us, give up the, the one thing. So most of the people in the room, they gave up their money, they gave up their, their job, they gave up their house, the material things went away first. And then little by little, you know, as they as, as we went into the higher and higher values of our lives, that was family and, you know, uh, marriage and, you know, all those. And, and finally, for, for many of the people in the room, that the top, you know, the top piece of paper that was in our hand was was our was God and, and our spiritual life and and at the end of the day that is what is most important now now here's the thing it's so easy and and if you if you're not clear about your values it's so easy to give up God for money to give up God for pleasure to to give up God for fame you know and so we need to be reminded of what is most important in our lives. Hi, my name is Bo Sanchez. Welcome to Full Tank, your place of inspiration. I pray that you will be equipped and built up as I read the gospel for the day. I do this from Monday to Friday. And our gospel is Luke chapter 14, verse 25, where Jesus tells, and, and this is very controversial. He says, if you come to me, not hating your father and your mother and your, and your child and your brothers and your sisters and your own life, you cannot be my disciple. That was controversial. So what? To become a disciple of Jesus, I have to hate my, 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 my mother and my father and my child? Well, two things. Number one, this is an ancient language that Jesus was using, okay? Because it was 2,000 years ago. And in that ancient lang language, there are no degrees. There's no more or less. It was a black and white language, you know? And so he spoke in that way. But the other thing is to take this into context that when the Gospels were written, there was persecution all over. And meaning to say, there were family members who were persecuting family members who were Christians and actually throwing them to jail just because they followed Jesus. So, the, you know, to take that into that context. But that passage, Jesus is saying that you need to know your highest value. Is it God or is it 
what people will say. Is it God or is it, you know, your reputation? Is it God or, you know, the... So, so it's, it's, again, challenging us. And so I, let me pray with you today that we clarify in our minds our highest, highest, highest value. That at the end of the day, it is God and following Him forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every person watching this video that we would be able to clarify our values and that we will be able to declare to ourselves, Jesus, with your help, with the Holy Spirit working in us, our, the most important things and persons in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for blessings and miracles and healing for my friend right now in Jesus name amen and amen in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen thank you so much guys for watching and uh, this is Bo Sanchez praying for you God bless you I will see you tomorrow